What I would like to do is to give you an overarching perspective of India's G20 presidency. Uh, thereafter, I would request my colleague, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, to speak about the key outcomes from the finance track. The Indian G20 Sherpa, uh, Amitabh Kant, will then similarly speak on the results of the Sherpa track. Uh, we would thereafter be very glad to respond to your questions and comments. The message of our presidency, as you are all aware, is that we are one earth, one family, and we share one future. This draws the entire proceedings of the New Delhi summit are in fact organized accordingly, with three sessions devoted to each aspect of this theme. Now, reflecting this approach, we have consciously sought to make this G20 as inclusive and broad-based as possible. It is witnessing the participation of its, obviously, its 20 member states, nine invitee nations, and 14 international organizations. It is a matter of particular satisfaction for us that the African Union has this morning become a permanent member of the G20, that too during the Indian presidency. This is in keeping with the priority that we attach to addressing the urgent concerns of the Global South. You would recall that at the beginning of our presidency, Prime Minister, at Prime Minister Modi's initiative, 125 nations were consulted to express the voice of the Global South. In terms of its organization and program, the Indian presidency, if I may say so, has been exceptional. Events have been spread across 60 cities, which are truly across the length and breadth of India. There has been a popular participation and a societal involvement of an extraordinary degree. The interest in G20 proceedings have been particularly strong among our youth. It has been an opportunity to showcase our culture, traditions, and heritage as well. The G20 has contributed to making India world ready and the world India ready. The declaration that the leaders have agreed on today focuses on promoting strong, sustainable, balanced, and inclusive growth. It seeks to accelerate progress on SDGs and, and has come up with an action plan accordingly. It envisages a green development pact for a sustainable future. It endorses high-level principles on lifestyle for sustainable development, voluntary principles on hydrogen, the Chennai principles for a sustainable and resilient blue economy, and the Deccan principles on food security and nutrition, among others. The transformative and inclusive role of technology has been highlighted with a focus on digital public infrastructure. The Indian Presidency's proposal of a One Future Alliance has also been noted. The G20 has reaffirmed the fundamental importance of gender equality and committed to half the digital gender gap by 2030. Recognizing that the post-pandemic world order must necessarily be different from the world before it, the leaders have also emphasized the need to reinvigorate multilateralism and reform international financial institutions. This is particularly relevant to managing global debt vulnerabilities. So, as you can see, there have been many far-reaching and very consequential policies and decisions. Zin.